clear. There will be no tolerance for violence. Governor Gavin Newsom is calling in the National Guard to help protect our state capitol ahead of the inauguration. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. And I'm Marcella Lee. The governor is authorizing the deployment of 1,000 California National Guard troops to Sacramento. The FBI has warned capital cities around the nation of potential armed protests as President-elect Joe Biden is sworn into office. News 8's Richard Allen has more on the governor's order and what's being done here locally to protect our city. Well, that's right. An FBI spokesperson confirmed today that its Sacramento field office is aware of potential U.S. Capitol copycats in California's capital city. This is Governor Newsom made it clear that violence will not be tolerated. We're taking important steps here in California in light of what we saw at our nation's capital just last week. Those steps include calling in up to 1,000 National Guard troops to Sacramento as law enforcement braces for the possibility of civil unrest at state capitals throughout the nation. We're treating this very seriously and deploying significant resources to protect public safety, critical infrastructure, and First Amendment rights. But let me be clear, there will be no tolerance for violence. Thursday, the California Highway Patrol installed a six-foot-tall temporary fence, creating a protective perimeter around California's Capitol building. The CHP also canceled a permit it had earlier issued for a pro-Trump rally that had been planned in Sacramento this Sunday, citing both COVID public health concerns as well as the potential for civil unrest. These preventive measures follow a warning issued by the FBI this week to all state capitals. An FBI spokesperson based in Sacramento said Thursday, we are gathering information to identify any potential threats. Our focus is not on peaceful protesters, but on those threatening their safety and the safety of other citizens with violence and destruction of property. Here in San Diego, preparations are underway as well. The resources ready should we should they be required. San Diego County Sheriff Bill Gore said that while there have been no reported threats locally in the days leading up to the inauguration, law enforcement is ready. We have the mechanisms in place, the structure in place to get those pieces of intelligence into the big mix so they can be properly analyzed to determine if we do have a problem. So far, we have not seen anything here in San Diego. And San Diego's police chief also issued a statement saying in part that if demonstrations do occur here, violent actions will not be tolerated. All right, Richard, thank you.